Hi, I'm Keiko with Stereo Suri Ranch, and today I'm going to show you how I needle felt these angels. So I have one more I can show you here. Okay, so it'll be a step-by-step -step process, and I will first cover the material. So you'll want your foam and needles. I like to use a 40 gauge um, for some of the finer work, so I do a 38 and a 40 gauge needle for this project. Um, there's a couple different things you'll need. So you'll need um, pipe cleaner or fuzzy stick um, And this is for the arms and you'll want some skin color of your choice to wrap the arms And this will also be for the face. So I'm using Surya Alpaca Fawn um, Underneath um, this pretty little rainbow colored dress I use um, wool um, and this is just wool roving and you can of course just use um, the colored wool for the whole project but it's a lot cheaper actually <laughs> if, if you just buy some white and then get the color for the outside so let me see um, you'll need about 0.21 ounce for this base um, including the head and the ba uh, base of the body and that's about six grams okay so that's your wool and <laughs> um, okay and then we'll go for the colored dress so this can be any color of your choice and let me just make sure i know how much i'm using here this will be 0.28 ounces or about eight grams and it's eight inches um in the front and back so it'd be like 16 inches um or 40 centimeters if you are doing it that way okay and then you'll need a little extra for the wings okay and and let's see hair okay so i'm actually using surrey locks you don't need a whole lot i'll cover a little bit more about the hair in a separate video so i can just do a real quick short one on either how to prep it or how to work with these um okay and then this is optional these are actually all optional so you can get a little bit of angelina sparkly fiber and lamb locks and this is more for accent and decoration I cover everything oh okay oh also if you want to hang your angel you'll want some gold thread and I just use a little bead so it doesn't go right through and I guess a regular sewing needle and I will also show you just two different wing shapes so this is the butterfly and this is more the heart shape um, it's really the same process it, the heart shape uses a little bit more fiber and the patterns are really helpful and these will be available for PDF download at my Etsy shop. And so if you want to support me, this would be a great way to do it. And it'll also come with a tutorial and probably some extra bonus tips. Okay, let's get started. I'll show you the step-by-step -step close up. Okay, so for, for the step-by-step, -step, so we're gonna work on making the um, arms with the sleeves. First, and so you're going to want um, let's see six inches so it's about half of your standard pipe cleaner or fuzzy stick or however they're sold and what we're going to do is take some of the skin color roving and you could actually use my size guide on this as well got a lot of little details so we're going to start so you see I've got some here that might be too much very little okay so I'm gonna start oh I am off the screen okay I'm going to start right in the center I'm going to pinch it and then the key here is to roll this pipe cleaner it's kind of hard to do it at an angle sorry <laughs> here maybe this way okay and to keep this flat and when I say flat it means kind of like this um, let me see if I can just do it okay so flat versus like twisting it like this um, it it'll be smoother and it'll stick better so let's see it's going to be just like this so you can actually twist this side as you kind of go outwards towards the hands okay I'm gonna pull it a little bit more 
and you're going to go as close to the edge as you can but not all the way to the edge so you're really close to the edge and this is where we're going to make the hand so I'm gonna fold just a little pinch like this and then whatever comes naturally and easily you're going to take the fiber again and then you're going to wrap right over where you um, fold it so it goes like that so do you see what happened here okay <laughs> hopefully I'll do the other side too so and then make sure it stays flat so I'm gonna keep going back it towards the center like that okay and then I'm just gonna finish it off like here okay and so still very flat so you can kind of see it's not twisted although that's a little lumpy here okay so I'm gonna take another bit of the roving and I'm going to wrap it oh, okay this is <laughs> the angles really hard okay so I'm flat I think you can see that pretty well okay flat flat so no twisting okay okay so continuing on all the way to the end as close as you can get it and then you're going to fold it right over so make sure when you fold it over that this little edge is covered and sometimes you know it will take a little bit of practice to get that so just practice a couple with a pipe cleaners <laughs> and just wrap a few arms okay and so I'm just going straight right back okay and there we have it okay so at this point it should stay pretty well but you can um, use your needle and be very careful you do not hit the wire so go super gentle and if you hit it make sure you're not um, using much force or you will break your needle okay so I'm just oh my goodness sorry can't see that poking <laughs> all right and I like to just sort of make sure it's in there good so there okay so there's your arm and you can check it against your size guide. Okay, I do not have a very good angle on my camera today. Okay, so now I'm gonna um, work on the sleeve. Doesn't look like it's quite enough. Okay. And I'm going to actually do the same thing starting in the center and keep and pinching it and then keeping, roll it flat like this. Okay, just like that it's the same thing and you can use a different color I'm just using the same one okay and then I'm just going straight back and I'm going to do the same it's okay <laughs> there and just wrapping 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 okay <laughs> <laughs> all right it's not quite perfect but it will do for right now okay so there's your arm next we are going to take a little bit of the white wool and we're going to aim for this right here with a knot on the head arms and this little base part okay so I'm going to just wrap and make a knot here. We'll see how that goes. Okay. So as I'm making the knot, now you can do this a couple different ways, of course, but since this will be covered, my goal is to try to get a really pretty little piece right here. So I'm just gonna kind of fuss around with my fingers and and then I'm gonna check with my size guide to make sure the head size is roughly correct okay so it's about 1.25 inches or about three centimeters if you don't have the size guide it's like here okay and then 
I'm going to just cover back the cover the back of the head, which is actually the knots right here. So this is the back of the head. I'm just going to go ahead and cover it. So my face will look something like this at this point. Okay. So now to secure this, I'm just going to take a little piece from the bottom and just wrap the neck right here. And I'm going to poke, let's see, there. <laughs> just going to secure what I just wrapped around the neck. Okay, so just like that. And then you should be able to lift up the front or top and bottom. So this is the front of the face, that's the front. And then this is the back or bottom. I'm going to take the arms that I made and I'm going to put it right in the center like this. There. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to hold it right here and then I'm going to pinch it and then I'm going to do the same thing I did with the neck. So I'm actually going to just go ahead and take a little bit of this or you can just get it from your other pile and then just wrap. So I'm just wrapping it right here and then I'm going to poke and secure it. Okay, so, so far I have something that looks like this and I can sort of size that matching sort of oh, oh. <laughs> you get the idea okay so then um, I the face is kind of not quite shaped right so I'm gonna touch up the face just a little bit so that it matches the size better and although I will be covering it I do want to make it a little smaller so this one I'm actually using the 38 gauge needle and I'm just going to poke it and depending on how tight your knot is just be careful you don't break your needle here okay so I'm poking and shaping okay and again the smoothness doesn't really matter at this point because we will be covering it okay so more the shape all right, so that's okay for now. I'll have to work on it a little bit more. This one's not as smooth looking. <laughs> okay, all right, so I've got the arms here. All right, so the next part is to work on the base of the body. And this is gonna be about 6.5 inches. So let me see where my ruler is. <laughs> Okay, so front six and a half, and I'm just gonna fold it. So these are pre-measured, <laughs> so I can be pretty quick. Okay, and then at the very top, I'm going to open a little opening at the top, so got that. And then I'm putting the head right through. Okay, so you can see the head right through. Okay. And then I'm pulling the arms out up like this and I'm going to be holding it right um, under the arms like this. So I'm just making sure it's nice and snug. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to grab a little bit here and I'm doing the same thing. So I'm going to sort of hold it with one hand and then I'm going to wrap the torso like this. I'm going to show you in just a minute. Okay. So it's secured. I'm just holding it right here. And now I'm going to secure it by poking, felting it right in the center so the um, little 
wool piece won't come apart. Okay, so here you go. Okay, so um, I'm taking the skin color roving, and this is actually from our little sweet Sadie. And I'm going to just gently pre felt it a little bit so it's a little easier for me to work with. Okay, and then I'm going to poke it. I think I got a little more than I need. Okay, so let me just go ahead and roll it a little bit. I usually end up with a little circle, but <laughs> it's not how it's going today. Uh, it's all good. Okay, so that's a little closer to the shape I generally end up with. Okay. All right, kind of like this. And you can poke it in again, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cover her face like this. And it doesn't have to go all the way to the back of the head, just as long as it covers the front. Um, the reason being, um, you'll be attaching hair. And for Surrey Alpaca, sometimes it just gets a little slippery when it's added on and it'll attach better if it's attached directly to the wool. So um, I'll show you what I mean right here. Okay, so I'm actually doing it all around her head first on the back side. And then I'm gonna go very carefully around the face because um, depending on the size of your needle, it will poke holes. And depending on how that looks, it's not the best look if you have a bunch of holes in the face. <laughs> so I guess I could go look for a finer ne needle too, but I don't know where it is right now. Okay, so I'm just going to go all the way around. And so that's pr looking pretty smooth. So here I kind of left it like this so that I have an easier time attaching um, some of the hair to the back. Okay, so here we have the face covered and now we get to do the merino or wool dress. So this one is, oh, this is way too long. Um, this is about, let's see, eight inches. So let me just, I'm actually, oops, here, just so you know what I'm doing. Okay, so <laughs> I'm matching it. Let me just do this real quick. I thought I had it pre-measured, but I don't think I did. Okay, so, so it's a little long, so I'm cutting, uh, pulling it to shorten it. All right, that's the right length. And we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to open the head and pull, put the head right through like this. Okay, probably should push this. Okay, down, okay, down. Okay, so I'm pushing it down from here and I'm going to wrap right under the arms like this. Let me see if I can show you. Okay, and then same thing, I'm going to poke this to secure to make sure that it doesn't come apart. I'm going to do it on the back. Yeah, it looks a little loose. <laughs> you can always retie it. Okay, make sure that goes right in. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so this next part, so this wool is nice and fluffy and um, when I open it up, it's going to cover pretty well. So let me just show you what I'm doing here. So I'm basically um, opening up this wool just enough so that it can cover the, um, 
base, the white base, like that. And I'm gonna do the same with the back. Now, this is where, depending on the wool, so this you can, I don't know if you can see, but it's actually a nice little thick um, wool and very like not flimsy. Um, so I can go like that and it'll cover this really well. So if you can kind of see this, it's gonna cover it probably one shot. Now, if you have like more of a um, lighter wool and it, you're like, oh my goodness, it's a little too flimsy and you can see right through, no problem. Just grab extra, so like, I'm not sure if this is the right one. <laughs> you can take the same color or a different color fluff it out a little bit like this and then just lift the skirt top and then you can just lay it on and then just poke it in right under the arms like here let me show you right here so you can just kind of poke it right in here and add an extra layer so you can easily do that and you can actually do that to layer colors and do more fun stuff too but let's just continue all right, so at this point, what we're going to do is um, we're going to kind of tuck the side in a little bit like this. That's yellow. Okay, so the, the white part. So I'm put, tucking the white part in, and I'm going to poke like you're sewing, like a seam. So I can't see it that way, but okay. I'm going to have to look at the screen. So Okay, so that looks right. <laughs> And I'm just going to take the needle and poke it like I'm sewing a seam. Yeah. And you're going to do that on both sides all the way. And this way. Okay. Can't see too, too well. So we'll see if it's doing it. I think it is. Yes. Okay, and the bottom two. And I'm gonna cheat and do it on this side where I can see it better. <laughs> okay, now, oops, that came apart. So if that happens, um, I'm actually gonna do it while I'm looking so I know what I'm doing. So all you have to do is just go through it carefully and I'm just poking the two edges together. So I'll show you. Okay. See how the edges are getting sewn right now? Okay. Or needle felted. Okay. So I'm actually going to have to go over. I'm going to stand and see if I can see right over what I'm doing. Okay. So let me go ahead and do this. I think you can see it better now. And I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. So now, okay. So depending on how your seams come together, if it's poking out like this, all you have to do is to gently poke it in flat now like this. Okay. And so here it came apart again, so I didn't do it enough. Okay, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I actually did a little bit more and then under the sleeves, you might see some of the white. So you can just cover it up with the, um, with the sleeve by poking it in gently. Just like that. And anywhere where the white's poking out, all you have to do is just poke it. So you can kind of see this sleeve's done and then you see the white showing down here. So I'm going to be just poking it in and then covering. And I'd be doing this on my phone, but I'm hoping you can see it by if I lift this little pretty thing up. Okay. Okay. So, there. That'll work. 
Okay. So now the fun part. Oh yes, the hair. Okay, so this is Surrey Alpaca Locks. Am I doing the right process? Okay. And I will do a separate short video on um, hair if you are not working with a kit and you need a little more help with either finding the hair, prepping the hair, or just doing this. And um, also in the video, I can sort of talk a little bit about the roving. So you can actually use, this is alpaca roving, but this is kind of like in this type of, oh no, here it is. <laughs> it's just in uh, strip roving like this. And you can basically do it the same exact way, but it just has a slightly different feel and um, same process, um, but just a little bit more maybe tucking it in and um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so let me go back to this one. So this fiber has actually been mostly aligned. It's already washed and ready to use. So I'm going to take, this is called the tip end and the cut end. So this is where they would be shorn and cut. And I'm just gonna clean it up just a little bit. And you can use this fez um, to cover bald spots. Okay. So for the hair, I'm going to, so there are different ways of course to attach the hair, but I'm going to do the one that's probably the easiest. So the first, first way that I like to do it. So I'm at the back of the doll and I'm at the back of the head and I'm just going to cover the back of her head by, that's the wrong needle I think. So this is where you might need a finer gauge needle. Okay, so I'm just poking it in. And so just so you know, I'm going to put hair on the back first and then um, do a part line kind of center line and do it on the sides and sort of um, side front side maybe. Okay, so covering the back of the head first. And you can leave this dangling, or I'm going to put it in a little bun since the wings are going to be there. Okay, and I'm just going to poke it in. Okay, so right now it doesn't look too <laughs> great, but you get the idea. And I'll probably put a little bit more. So I'm going to grab the tip end. So I just grab the tip end and the cut ends up here. I'm just going to poke the cut end like this. Just cover a little bit more here. Just poking the top in. So this one I'm not doing anything other than just poking it in since this is not going to be as visible as the next step. And I do spend a little more time usually getting the hair in. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so now we've got more of the back. And again, it's not fixed yet, but I'm just poking it in so it's in. And the front, not quite there yet. So now we're going to work on the sides and the way I'm going to do this, so I have this much left right now, so I'm going to use all of it. And again, the cut end is up at top. It's a little fluffy, so I'm going to go ahead and clean it up a little bit. Okay. Ooh, it's so soft. Okay, so this part, so I'm actually going to um, put it right at the top where the part line would be, and I'm going to put it going this way, and then this is going to go right over. And I'm going to do the same with the other side, but reverse. So let me see if I can do this <laughs> with this angle. Okay, I can't see really. Okay, so this is at the top line. And I'm just going to go ahead and poke these in. And you do kind of need a finer um, alpaca fiber. I usually use baby or super young ones that are still fine. Otherwise you get like kind of pokey hair. Okay, so now that's attached. I'm gonna put it right over. And now you can see this pretty little part line. Okay, and then, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to look at her for a second. Okay, so I'm just going to go like this and I'm going to poke in the part line to reinforce it so it doesn't come right out. 
So here's her part line. And then I'm poking it in and I'll style her hair in just a minute, but let me just go ahead and put that in. And I think she's got most of her hair. In. Okay, so we'll do the same with the other side. So got that. Uh oh, everything's stuck on my hand. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, so I've got the tip end here, cut end and cut end. Okay, then I gotta use the reverse. Okay, so now I'm gonna go this way and I'm going to poke this in, poke, 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 poke. And this is a 40 gauge needle I think I'm using. Okay, and poking this end in. So I actually secure the center line first and then poke the rest in. And here it is. We're going to go right over. She's going to have a bald spot on the top. So I'm going to have to, uh, I'm just folding it over and just kind of making sure the part lines meet. Okay. It's a little easier when you're actually looking at it better and closer. Okay. So now you see this is poking out. Okay, so all you have to do is sort of um, tease it down and then just poke it in. Okay, now I'm gonna look at her. Okay, and I like to have her hair kind of going front like that. So give me a minute <laughs> so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just poking it in and securing it kind of um, framing her face a little bit. And then I'm also going to go ahead and just tap this into her dress so it stays for now. I may adjust it later. Okay, so that's staying right now. Now with the back, you can leave it like this. The wings are gonna come right over it. So I like to kind of um, just get it and wrap it a little bit. I'm just twisting it. And then I'm just going to kind of free flow it right into a bun. Okay. And then I'm just poking it into place. And you can put a flower there later or just leave it as... Okay. There. Okay, so that's really pretty. Okay, so we made it this far so far. And now we're going to go to the wings. Okay, so now for the wings, and I'm just going to show you the process for pretty much both, because it's the same, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so if you look at the pattern, I have pattern for both, <laughs> and I'm going to sort of show you the first one. So we're getting a certain length, uh, okay, <laughs> just gonna show you like so. Um, for the other one, it's about the same, a little bit longer. I'm going to hold the center point. I'm going to grab a little bit and we're going to wrap the center like this. And I'm going to double check. Oh, in here, you can either do it now or after you secure it. You can add a little bit of the Angelina sparkle. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it here. Okay. I'm just going to grab another bit and just wrap. Okay. And then I'm just going to poke it in place to secure. Ouch. Okay. Both sides, front and back. Okay. And then for the butterfly, all I'm doing is you just kind of fluff it and shape it. So just fluffing the Angelina, which is also called, I think, Firestar. Okay. And then you can just kind of fluff out the wings like this. Okay. That's really all there is to it. And then you can, we, we'll attach it in a minute. If you want to make the um, heart shaped. Okay. So I'm going to see if I can show this to you. So I'm going to hold the center like this and I'm going to actually hold the center and then I'm going to also hold the top 
with the other hand like this <laughs> and then all you're doing is you're just kind of teasing it into shape just like that like really with your hands so I'm just kind of holding it holding the top and see so that was super easy okay so on this side I'm just going to sort of hold the top let the bottom drape so that's really all there is to it and then you can make this as big or small as you want see <laughs> oh there center okay and now all we need to do is figure out the center point so I'm going to kind of look here like this check position and poke it in just like that and you don't really have to do a whole lot of it just secure just make sure it stays in okay and then you want to just adjust it a little bit make sure it's even okay and I think I squished her face a little so I'm gonna fix it just a bit and then now you can add little decorations so let me go ahead and just um this is just a little dyed lamb lock and I'm just gonna squish it and I'm gonna put it let's see okay I'm gonna put it on this side so all I do is I just poke it in the center and is it staying mostly yep there's her hair decoration and then I like to put something on the band so I might just put like maybe we'll just put these two there and all I'm doing just kind of poking okay so really it's totally up to your imagination how you want to do that and then um, if you want to add the gold thread I like to just put like a little bead at the end just so it won't go through and then I'm putting it usually through this flower or through the back and then I'll put it on the shoulder and then um, tie it in the back so let me see if I've got one that's already done there so that it hangs like that okay <laughs> if you have any questions let me know hope you enjoyed the tutorial and have a beautiful day bye now